a younger preacher came involved and said, well, Dr. Hudson, if what you say is true, everybody is saved. I said, well, let's stop before we go any further. Don't say if what I say is true. Say if what the Bible says is true. Because I didn't say that. The Bible said that. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. He said, okay, if what the Bible says is true, everybody say. I said, go ahead with your argument. He said, because everybody I meet says they believe on Christ. I haven't met anybody that doesn't. He waited for my response. I said, okay, you're through? He said, I'm through. I said, okay. The problem is we use the word believe in various ways. I tell you, I believe it's going to be partly cloudy tomorrow or partly sunny, either way you want it, with a high of 53 degrees. That's a calculated hope based on the best information I have from unreliable weather men. I believe it's going to be in the mid-40s on Tuesday and back up in the low 50s again on Wednesday. That's a calculated hope based on the best information I have. That's not what it means to believe in Christ. I tell you that I believe that this is a microphone that's giving mental assent to a fact. I've got one in my hand. This is one I know. I can want to see one. That's not what it means to believe in Christ. It may include that, but it means more than that. I tell you that I believe that this chair will support my weight. That's expressing confidence in its ability. That's not what it means to believe in Christ. It may include that, but it means more. You still with me? To believe in Christ does not mean a calculated hope or giving mental assent to a fact or expressing confidence in his ability. You may say, oh, I believe Christ was born 2,000 years ago, the birth we worship or celebrate this Christmas. I believe he died on a cross like we sometimes sing about in our church. You can say all that and not be saved. You're expressing mental assent to a fact. That's not what it means to believe in Christ. To believe in Christ, now watch me, I'm going to demonstrate it. It means to trust Him. It means to rely on Him. It means to depend on Him. Now I'm going to do several things, and you watch what I do. I believe this is a chair. That's mental assent to a fact, but it has not solved my problems. I'm still standing and my legs are getting tired. Watch this. I believe that chair will hold me up. It'll support my weight. That's expressing confidence in its ability, but I haven't solved my problem. I'm still standing. My legs are still hurting. Don't you see that? I answered all the questions. right. You can say, I believe Jesus was a real man. Sure. But he was God's son. Sure. God in human flesh. Sure. But he died on the cross. Sure, sure. You answered all the questions right, but you hadn't solved your problem yet. I must not believe it is a chair, mental ascent to a fact. I must not believe it will hold me up or support my weight, confidence in his ability. Now, I must make a decision to trust it. So I go a step further than giving mental assent to a fact and expressing confidence and ability. I sat down on the chair, take both feet off the floor, put all my 200, that's far enough, 200 pounds on it. If the chair falls, somebody tell me what happens to me. Say it out loud. I fall because I'm trusting nothing but the chair. Suppose that I put 90% of my weight on the chair and reach over and hold with the back of this chair with 10%. The 10% destroys the 90%. Because the 10% says I'm not fully trusting the chair. Now you write this down in your Bible when I'm dead and gone, tell them I said this. There is no promise anywhere in the Bible to those who partially believe on Christ. The promises of those who believe on Christ. It is not Jesus 90% and the baptistry 10%. It is not Jesus Christ 99% and the baptistry 1%. It is not Jesus Christ 90% and my ba and my Baptist church 10%. It is not Jesus 90% and my good works 10%. It's Jesus Christ 100% or it's not Jesus Christ at all. 